Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SGR Command today with the Man 24 video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys the best coin making methods right now in Man 24. In case you guys didn't know, in the channel all I do is talk about no money spent methods, so if you guys are looking for coin chain points or XP, this is the place to be, because like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you guys have any questions on what I talk about in today's video, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and I will answer your comment as soon as possible. Today, couple different methods i'm gonna go over four different things you guys should be doing right now in man 24 to make coins tomorrow is our content update we finally have some stuff to do we got some solos today i'll talk about those in this video uh but this is like the last day before we actually get some content so i know it's dry right now for the most part the market and stuff like that it's gonna start ramping up this should be the only dry week we have for a long time i'm not sure why you release a game and you go you know a full week without content but i don't know not my decision is what it is let's talk about how to make coins so there is a new uh, like bundle in the store and that is causing new uh, players to be on the market and 80 overalls are guaranteed out of those triumph elite packs which means 80 overalls are really easy snipes right now i was looking at wide receivers the most these seem to be the easiest snipes right there you saw those cards are selling for 13k we can buy one up for 9,900 right now so you just go buy this card do it like so and then sell it for 13k and it, obviously the market I'm, I'm recording this an hour before you guys are seeing this video okay it's gonna be fairly close but the market could change a little bit. It could change a little bit. So, you know, with that being said, like, just snipe it for under 2,000 coins or more than what the market is currently at. So if the market, you know, is up to 14K, you want to buy then 2,000 coins less than that. So 12K, you want to buy 12K, then if it's at 14K, so on and so forth. But 80 to 81s are really easy right now. Just make sure you go to Core Elites. Those should be, uh, you could also get Headliners, I guess, too, because there are, uh, you know, Headliners cards to pull, 80 overall Headliners. But I don't know why the Auction House does this. If you change your filter while you like if you change your promo while you have other stuff on the filter it'll just glitch out there's just so many little things like this that are already broken but uh that's ea for you so wow there's no headliners cards in the auction house i find that hard oh now there's two headliners was it always like this maybe there's always two filters like this i don't know I'm, i don't know what i'm talking about so uh yeah that's that also there are 84 is guaranteed out of this bundle from the headliners so you could do one of two things all right and the, the first one is, I guess, a lot safer and maybe not that profitable, but it's it's a possibility. Just look at it for a few minutes, see if you can find anything. Could just be sniping these cards here, selling them back for about 58,000 coins at the time you're recording this video, like I said. Remember, you're going to lose 10% on tech, so you have to snipe for quite a bit less than what it says. So like right here, if these say, like, yeah, 57K, 58K, you have to buy for like 52,000 coins to make any profit. So just keep that in mind. Anything 52K or under here, you want to go for 51,000, that's 1,000 coins profit. So that's not awful. But you could also buy these cards, hold on to them, and wait to see if these prices go back up a little bit because they were about 60 to 65K. So you could make a little more coins off this. However, tomorrow we are getting headliners cards, which means we're going to see a ton of 84s in the market, which if you're going to buy training for that mystery pack, people are just going to buy that. People are just going to buy those 84s, which should bring core elite 84s down a little bit as well. So... If you're going to invest in 84s right now, I think it's a poor decision. You could profit off it a little bit, but I think there's too much risk there than there is a reward. So I would avoid that. But if you were thinking about it, it's up to you, obviously, completely your decision. But I would avoid that. It seems a little too risky for me. So uh, that's kind of where you're at there. You know, I get comments all the time as well. I'm at, I'm at 500K. I'm at 750K. I'm at 1 million. What should I do? Right now, just hold. Literally, just play the game. Just play head to head. Go grind your competitive pass. There isn't any good sets to do right now. Sometimes team builders are profitable. Sometimes legends are profitable. Sometimes headliners are profitable. Headliners not really aren't that reliable, but uh, team builders and legends can be sometimes. It's just not consistent enough right now. We need content in the game, so it's kind of hard to do sets when there's no content. That's just kind of the way it is right now. So just grind the game. Like, that's really it. If you if you have a lot of coins, grind the game. If you're low, you can flip cards like I already showed you guys, but once you get up in, in the coin stack, once you get your coin stack up, you want to focus more on sets and investing. Like me personally, at 2.5 mil, I probably won't do many sets the rest of the year. A lot of my coin making will just be off investments. That's how I'm going to move forward. You'll see me document this and talk about it throughout the entire year. Uh, and sometimes we're going to lose an investment. Sometimes we're going to make big. Sometimes we'll make just a little bit. It's just the way it goes. So uh, yeah, that's just kind of where we're at there. If you are no money spent, you need to know this. This is this is a this is a good fact here. Okay, uh, the headliners forge. We just got these today. Some new challenges. They're super easy. I have not done them yet, but I saw them on Twitter. These are so simple. They're all so simple. It'll take you 20 something, 20, 30 minutes to do all these, and it's real quick stuff here. Uh, it might not look like much right now because you're only getting 100 coins uh, you know, per star. 
which seems like nothing because you're right that is nothing that's like only 2,000 coins for all this stuff it's really really nothing but what I can say is that on Saturday we're going to get more solos that's if EA doesn't postpone it or pull a fast one on us we're going to get more solos you're going to get a free 85 overall cornerback with 85 speed it's pretty fair, honestly. If you're no money spent, you're going to want that card in your team. I will update you guys with that card when he is, you know, released into the game, and we will go over that then. So uh, make sure you play those field pass or the, those solo challenges. Get ahead on that, and uh, also grind out your field pass. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that well. They should reward headliner stars for those challenges for your headliners field pass. There's an objective in the headliners field pass where you need to get stars. So that should reward it. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it maybe it does. I don't know, but it should. If 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 this is a smart company, which we know that they aren't. Uh, they will have that rewarded. So that should progress your headliners field pass as well, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, that's really it. Make sure you're playing the game, grinding your field passes, playing head-to-head. -head. This is a great time to go go for win a Super Bowl and stuff like that. Make sure you're finishing up your weekend league if you haven't, or your, your mutt champs if you haven't finished all those objectives yet because uh, that's kind of where we're just at right now. It's kind of hard to make coins when there's nothing new coming to the game. Tomorrow it'll be a lot more fun, a lot more juicy. I'll have a lot more information for you guys. That'll probably be a fairly jam-packed video. Just once again, saw stuff in your binder. This is a good time to do it. The market is really high right now. Uh, I'm just kind of flipping cards. I'm not really flipping cards. I'm still working on selling stuff out. I did not sell any of this stuff out. Just didn't feel like it. Uh, and I wasn't really available to to sell these cards. So I got to sell a couple cards. Per not not too crazy stuff here. Just very simple. Just a few cards got to sell. I also did try the mystery pack method. I don't even want to call it a method because it's not a method. It's it's You're putting the ball in EA's court to lose your coins. But I have tried that. Uh, I would not recommend it. I lo I've lost coins more than I've gained, and I've lost a substantial amount of coins. I and I haven't even gained a substantial amount of coins, so it's just it's not it's not worth it. Don't don't open mystery packs. Save your coins. Build your coin stack up. If you want to build your coin stack up, like I said, just flip cards today. There's that. <laughs> please don't don't risk doing sets or anything like that, or risk opening mystery packs or regular packs. Packs right now are so bad, so bad. So uh, yeah, that's just that. Um, we should have more content tomorrow, though, like I said. Investing in 84s for headliners. I also got a question about this as well. I would not invest in 84s for the headliners. I would just completely avoid them. Just, you know, uh, let, let the promo do its thing. It's too risky right now. I do think the 84s are going to go down in price. They already have, but tomorrow they're going go, to be even lower. So if you're looking to buy 84s, I guess tomorrow would be the day to buy 84s because these headliner cards should come down in price. They should come down in price. Not saying they will, but I'm hoping they will come down in price. I would like to see that. That, that, would, that would make the most sense. New content means more cards, means the market goes down. So 84s should come down in price. That's actually, This is not bad prices, though, for 84s. 50K, I'd like it to see closer to 45 to 40, but honestly, 50K for an 84 is not bad, not too bad at all. So, uh, yeah, with all this being said, that is pretty much all I have for coin making. Uh, once again, I will update you guys with my LTD investments later on this week, probably tomorrow or Friday. It's probably going to be Friday, just the day before the LTDs come out. And I will go over my plan for Saturday when the LTDs come out, the Legend LTDs. Probably not going to invest in the LTDs tomorrow simply because these LTDs didn't go up a ton as far as I know. I actually haven't even checked this card, but I don't believe he went up that much. Uh, 455K. So he did go up, but it was not anything insane. Uh, like Chad Johnson went up about 100K. So uh, he only the this, this Stevenson card only went up less than 50K. So uh, yeah, that, that probably wouldn't have been a wise investment. So I'm not going to invest in these cards tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably just going to wait till, till Saturday, invest in those LTDs. I'll talk about more of that, though, on Friday. So with all this being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you didn't, please leave a like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me. Peace out.